Hi friends, it's Suzanne here from sunstampin.com. I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to my weekly Wild Card Wednesday video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are a little more technique driven, but nothing too complicated. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. For today's card, I am featuring the Snowflake Wishes stamp set and also the dies. I don't have them pictured here. So many snowflakes. So I'm starting off with a piece of Whisper White regular weight stamping paper. It's just a quarter sheet. I'm going to cut it down to a little smaller size later on. I have treated it with the embossing buddy. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell that anymore, but it doesn't mean that we don't need to use it. Uh, we will definitely have to prep our paper so that we, it's like an anti-static uh, pouch. So uh, it removes all of the uh, fingerprints from the paper and any static electricity, that sort of thing. So that when we go to to, uh, stamp with our um, Versamark clear sticky ink ink <laughs> uh, and we sprinkle with our embossing powder which I'm going to use the white Stampin embossing powder we won't have any stray embossing granules in areas that I don't want. You can see what I'm doing here. Well, maybe you can't. It's white on white, but it I am covering the entire quarter panel here with uh, snowflakes. I started off with a large one in the middle and then I filled in around it. I found that that to be the best way route to go so that I would get an even and randomly organic looking snowflake flurry on my quarter panel. Here is my white embossing powder. I'm covering my paper with it, tapping off the excess. This is my heat tool. I have uh, heated it up for probably about a minute. So I got it real hot and I am embossing from behind because I am using this thin stamping weight paper. Uh, moving on really quickly because I said it's white on white and you know it's a little boring. <laughs> now I'm coming in with a different color combination than we would normally have for a uh, winter or you know card, a snowflake card. So the color combination I am using today I'm starting off with mint macaron. I move on to soft sea foam and at the very and I use Sahara Sand. I am using an exceptionally light hand here. These colors also are light, so it's easy. My, my uh, sponges are seasoned, meaning that they already have ink on them. And I do keep them like that. I don't ever wash these out. I keep them inked in a little container that I got from the dollar store. I think it used to contain beads, but whatever works for you. Um, I feel like I need to have all of the colors represented on my sponges. And so I cut them down in quarters and Again, it's a very light hand in a circular motion. I've sped this up double time so that uh, I, we can get through the card process or I can show you the entire card process and not just the sponging. I know a lot of people have said that uh, sponging is difficult for them and I keep on encouraging, just keep on trying it, it will come. So this is the brushed metallic cardstock. It's a foil cardstock new in the um, winter catalog and or mini catalog I should say and I am a frugal crafter just like the rest of us. <laughs> so I've cut out the middle piece and I'm just making a frame and that frame is going to frame my uh, focal piece, the snowflake piece. I have used just another strip of Whisper White and I used the Sahara Sand. Sahara Sand is my favorite neutral, by the way, um, <laughs> to stamp that 
sentiment. And the in case you wanted to know, the sentiment says, Snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. So I did cut uh, a little bit with my scissors just to make a thin border. I wanted to match the border that I'm putting around my focal piece here. And again, if three of my sides are even, most likely my fourth side is going to be even as well. It's a little trick that I do to try to make everything equal. Um, I have it on a soft sea foam card base. I thought that one went really well. Uh, I have popped the sentiment panel here up with an obnoxious amount of dimensionals and it's just the way I am. Please forgive me. I have a problem with um, dimensional abuse. I do go to a um, a, a meeting <laughs> every week for it. <laughs> uh, an abuse meeting. I'm teasing. Of course I don't. Um, anyway, I thought that I needed, um, I was just going to leave it like this. And then I'm like, no, I got to bling it out. So I brought out my uh, stamp and emboss, cut and emboss machine. There we go. <laughs> I call it the C and E machine and no one knows what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, <laughs> it's, it's our die cutting machine. Uh, I die cut two snowflakes and then I needed to go back in for a third. Um, I just, there's not very many small ones if I can remember correctly. So I used a or maybe I just didn't want to waste paper and I used a corner of that. You'll see it right in the, on the left hand side there. Um, just a corner of that. I guess it's a sentiment piece. I haven't used that uh, particular die yet. Anyway, um, I made this little snowflake and then I needed to add more bling because you can never have enough. And uh, these are the gilded gems. They went perfectly once I found their placement, of course. And that is my Wild Card Wednesday share for today. Thank you so much for watching with me and I will see you in another video. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.